Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am thrilled that you have decided to join my community of viewers and subscribers. On this channel, you will find a variety of content that I hope will inform, entertain, and inspire you. From educational videos to entertaining vlogs, there's something for everyone here. By subscribing to my channel, you'll be the first to know when I upload new content. You'll also have access to exclusive content and behind-the-scenes footage that I don't share anywhere else. So hit that subscribe button and join our community. I can't wait to share my passion with you and get to know you better. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you in the next video. The History of the Ganja Tribe The Ganja people are an ethnic group who predominantly reside in the northern part of Ghana. The history of the Ganja people dates back to the 15th century when the kingdom was founded by a hunter named Sumaila Nono. Initially, the Ganja people were ruled by chiefs who had limited authority over the various clans. However, in the 17th century, a powerful chief named Na Gbawa emerged and united the various clans under his rule. He established the Ganja Kingdom, which became one of the most powerful in the region. The Ganja Kingdom was located in the Savannah region of Ghana, which was ideal for cattle herding, hunting, and farming. The kingdom became prosperous due to its strategic location on the trade routes between the gold mines of Bambuk and the salt mines of Tagaza. During the 18th century, the Ganja Kingdom faced threats from neighboring kingdoms, such as the Ashanti and the Dagomba. The Ashanti invaded Ganja several times, but the Ganja people were able to repel the attacks. In the 19th century, the British arrived in Ghana and began to colonize the region. The Ganja Kingdom initially resisted British rule, but was eventually defeated in a series of battles. The Ganja people were forced to pay tribute to the British and were subjected to colonial laws and taxation. After Ghana gained independence in 1957, the Ganja people became part of the new republic. Today, the Ganja people are known for their rich cultural heritage, which includes music, dance, and traditional festivals. The Ganja language is also widely spoken in the northern part of Ghana, and the Ganja people continue to play an important role in the country's cultural and political life.